Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be cleaning my toddler's room and as you can see, it needs it badly. <laughs> it's been really neglected. And also, when I filmed this, she had just been sick. So I'm gonna be doing a bit of a deeper clean. So I hope you guys get motivated and enjoy the video. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be turning on my Lavoie air purifier and Lavoie actually offered to send one of these to me and when they did I said yes right away and I knew it was going in Sayla's room. The reason why is because I feel like the air in her room is so stagnant and I can tell because odors just seem to like linger around in her room. like. Two days after I cook something, it'll like still smell like that. So I can tell like the air is just not good in there and she's breathing it over 12 hours a day. So I really wanted something to just be able to purify the air and um, yeah, just give her the best quality of air in there. This um, gets rid of allergens, dust mites, mold spores, um, pet dander everything so um i absolutely love having this in her room especially after she was sick this day like it just feels like it just refreshes the whole space and i would definitely recommend it as you saw in the clip before there's like a little night light there's different fan speeds and i would highly recommend it it's quiet and I just love it. It's a perfect little size here and yeah, it's been great. So I highly recommend this. And now moving on to the actual cleaning part that I have to do with my hands and not just with the machine. So I'm going to be stripping her bed. And of course, this is good to do often, but especially after they've been sick, I put all the um, blankets in a hot wash to hopefully kind of sanitize them a bit so now we're just gonna clean up um, some toys in this area and uh, yeah you'll see that they were kind of helping me but not really helping Does anyone else find like a mother load of stuff under their kids' beds? I used to find like 20 pacifiers under there. It cracked me up. I just thought I would show you this. Ooh, that's really fast. Sorry about that. Um, for anyone who's interested, I cloth diaper sometimes, kind of. I don't know. Um, so this is my unorganized organization. Um, in the top, I have their covers and like wipes and soakers and stuff. And then in the bottom, I have um, pre folds, or in the middle drawer, I have pre folds and flats, sticking those in there. And then in the bottom, I have just like extras, like disposable liners, and my wet bags. So just thought I would throw that in there for anyone interested. And now I'll tackle this much needed to be cleaned closet. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's really late right now. Uh, bear with me guys. All right, let's clean this closet. And I also, we were about to um, go on a trip. So I kind of was packing slash cleaning at the same time trying to kill two birds with one stone. So I'm setting aside some clothes uh, to pack in a suitcase later on.
All right, now I'm gonna clean up this area again because they got the toys out again. Uh, you know, cleaning with toddlers around. Okay, so then I would, I thought I would show you this um, DIY thieves cleaner. Um, I hear so much about thieves cleaner, but honestly, it's like so expensive. And um, yeah, so what I do is I use one cup of vinegar, one cup of water, and then I use 30 drops of not actually thieves but it's like a thieves cleaner from the company eden's garden and if you guys have not ordered from there you should they're reputable but they're so inexpensive so this is a blend called the fighting five and it's their version of thieves so I use 30 drops of that with the one cup of vinegar and one cup of water. I would highly recommend checking out Eden's Garden if you want to get into essential oils but can't afford um, the, you know, the two big brands. Um, and they are actually really reputable. So now you can see I'm just making up the bed. This is a while later after the bedding got out of the dryer. And, and now I will vacuum and this part was cracking me up in a couple in a couple seconds uh, Sayla is just dancing around the vacuum and she always tries to like help and it is just like the biggest test of my patience ever guys let me know if your toddler tries to like grab onto the vacuum and like help you or like dances around it and you're just like trying to hurry but trying not to like lose your cool with them it's cute though, especially like watching it back on video. It's like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Even though in the moment when you're trying to, you know, get it done really quick, it's like, move out of the way. Definitely gonna vacuum behind her crib because I don't know the last time I did that. And if you're wondering what that board is, I don't know. I just put it there because there's like outlets behind there and I don't have outlet covers and so I just threw that board up because, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I think this is the end. Hallelujah, let's see the after shots. Ooh, so much better. If it weren't for my shaky hand on this camera, sorry. But there you go, a clean bed. I sanitized, I wiped down all of the points of contact with that affordable thieves spray and wiped down the kitchen. Her, her closet is relatively clean and that little air purifier is just making everything feel fresh. So thanks for watching guys. Hope this motivated you. Have a fantastic day. Bye.